Ever wonder how equipment in a spray line, dispense line, or other assembly line just know what to do and when? Otherwise known as industrial networking and automation. The goal of this video is to answer that question so you'll walk away with a basic understanding of how industrial networking and automation works, at least from a bird's eye view. We'll start with the central brain or hub of the system, the PLC or Programmable Logic Controller. A PLC is a small computer running a program that integrates and controls all external components of an industrial system, such as an assembly line. The program tells each component what to do, when to do it, and what data to provide back. We'll talk more about this program later. PLCs contain digital and analog inputs and outputs that connect to sensors in the system, such as a proximity switch or a level sensor on a tank of material. The PLC collects data from these sensors and communicates it out to the rest of the system by using a typical Ethernet-based network port connected to a network switch. A network switch is a shared network port that all equipment connects to and communicates through. It's essentially like the router in your home connected to your computer, printer, smart TV, phone, and tablet. Let's take a closer look at how a network switch and PLC communicate with the components of a basic industrial assembly line. A typical assembly line has a conveyor belt with position sensors that communicate with the network switch. It also has a motor controlling the position of the conveyor belt that's attached to a variable frequency drive or VFD that also communicates with the network switch. It probably also has a robot placing parts. You guessed it, that robot also communicates with the same network switch. Now we'll add a piece of Graco equipment to this assembly line. Graco equipment is just another device communicating with the same network switch. We'll use the Graco Invisipack HM10 Hot Melt Adhesive Dispense System in our example. The HM10, like many other pieces of Graco equipment, contains a Communication Gateway Module, or CGM, with an Ethernet port connected to the network switch. It also contains a Control Board and an Advanced Display Module, or ADM, which is Graco's version of an HMI, or Human Machine Interface. All of these components within the HM10 communicate with one another over a CAN bus cable. The CGM is Graco's main communication device. It communicates with the control board, runs equipment software, and communicates with the ADM. Now that we've laid out how an entire system communicates, let's get back to the PLC program. A PLC programmer uses a computer that either communicates through the same network switch or is connected directly to the PLC and PLC software, typically provided by the PLC manufacturer, to write a program that runs on the PLC. As many PLC programmers would most likely tell you, programming a PLC is extremely time consuming. Luckily, Graco has developed software development kits, otherwise known as SDKs, to save programmers precious development time. We've found that customers and integrators who utilize these SDKs save a significant amount of development time, in some cases up to three to four weeks. We know you're thinking, that sounds amazing, and it is. You're also probably wondering, what exactly is an SDK and how does it work? Great questions! An SDK is a collection of files containing code to be used within a specific PLC software environment. This code provides building blocks in the correct format that provide built-in logic. For example, how to trigger an action such as change spray recipes or collect data from external devices. SDK files are available on help.graco.com as downloadable zip files. After a PLC programmer downloads and unzips their specific SDK file, they simply import the files into their software environment and make adjustments to the codec as needed for their specific application. Easy peasy. Hmm, looks like we've covered it all. Industrial networking and automation actually seems fairly simple when we take a look at how it works from a bird's eye view.